What is a massive American scandal that most people seem to not know about? The Church of Scientology blackmailed and threatened IRS people to get their tax-exempt status. The absolute and cataclysmic failure of the foster care system. The for-profit juvenile detention system. Basically, judges in Pennsylvania were intentionally handing out harsher sentences because these for-profit juvenile prisons contributed to the judges' campaign in PA they elect their judges which blows my mind for this very reason but that's another story. The DuPont scandal. DuPont chemical dumped thousands of tons of chemical waste, containing a long-chain fluorocarbon also known as PFOA into waterways in Parkersburg, West Virginia. These chemicals were found to directly cause cancer and birth defects. Unfortunately, the irresponsible disposal and manufacturing of this chemical didn't just affect America trace amounts of PFOAs can be found in virtually every single living creature on earth. I'm sure others have said it but in Ron was so awful and deserves to be remembered. The financial elite lost billions and billions in normal American savings because of their greed and recklessness. It left many broken families in its wake to no fault of their own. Those Turpin siblings that escaped being chained to their beds by their shitty parents? Happy ending, right? Yeah, no. Turns out their foster parents ended up abusing them even worse and now a bunch of them are suing. Edited to add I'm not American and this update did not make international news at all. Nobody I've spoken to about this knew of the update. The business plot against FDR. Wall Street tried to lead a coup against sitting president FDR. The media destroyed Gary Webb's career because he exposed the C.I.A's connection to cocaine. Newspapers like the New York Times later apologized. Not sure how big a deal it is in America but I read Empire of Pain recently and the opioid crisis and the behavior of basically everyone involved with the Sackler family and its companies was absolutely shocking. Tuskegee Syphilis Study It was a 40-year-long study conducted between 1932 and 1972 by the U.S. Public Health Service that involved 400 African-American men with syphilis who were not informed of their condition or given proper treatment in order to study the progression of the disease. How many kickbacks large corporations got from care back in 2020 while the rest of us got $1,200 and a six-month wait for unemployment? In September of 2017, Equifax announced a data breach that exposed the personal information of 147 million people. The Equifax breach investigation highlighted a number of security lapses that allowed attackers to enter supposedly secure systems and exfiltrate terabytes of data that exposed millions of names and dates of birth, social security numbers, physical addresses, and other personal information that could lead to identity theft and fraud. Dennis Haystert was Speaker of the House and served prison time for sexually abusing boys. He was longest serving Republican Speaker from 1999 to 2007. After he left, he was investigated in 2015 for paying hush money. The hush money was to cover up sexual abuse back when Haystert was wrestling coach. He only served 15 months. I think it was overshadowed by 2016 election and because Haystert was forgotten after leaving Congress and wasn't well-known speaker. The education system is failing kids due to the stupid reading recovery program that doesn't work. The massive trafficking, abandonment and unregulated rehoming of adopted children. People putting up advertisements trying to give away the children they have adopted like they are dogs in a shelter including many adopted from foreign countries. Go to Africa, pick up a cute black child to show everyone how godly you are. Abuse them when they aren't grateful enough and then give them away someone from Facebook. Epstein's client list still hasn't been released. During the American retreat from Afghanistan hundreds of Afghanis and a few dozen American soldiers died in a suicide bombing near Kabul airport. According to eyewitness and medical reports, it's not unlikely that a lot of Afghanis didn't die in the blast but were gunned down by panicking American soldiers in the ensuing chaos. No major news network touched this topic, presumably under pressure from the American government, until last year when CNN made a short article about it that nobody read. Right now? The Ohio train derailment and the decision to burn the spill releasing chlorine gas into the prevailing wind's face screaming in fear. 
the Teapot Dome scandal and the Iran-Contra affair were both pretty sketch. While these are both very well-known scandals in the history community, they are far less known among the general public. The CIA trafficking cocaine to the US to sell to drug dealers to fund death squads in Central America. Also the general incompetence of the CIA. Big banks knowingly caused the economic depression and housing market crash in 2008 because they were guaranteed to be bailed out by taxpayers. This happened because the government guaranteed home loans to people who couldn't afford them. And they are doing it again. Pretty much everything Henry Kissinger did in his entire career. The fact that he's not locked away for crimes against humanity is truly remarkable. The forced sterilization of thousands of Native American women for decades. They'd often go in for surgery for something completely unrelated and end up with their uteruses removed or tubes tied, or they'd be told the process is reversible when it isn't to get consent. As many as 25 of all Native American women in the US were sterilized at one point, pretty much all without informed consent. Edit this was up until the 1970s by the way and probably continued for a bit after, not like colonial era shit. That Pfizer and the rest of the pharmaceutical industry is responsible for a massive amount of the advertising you see on TV, and that it's only legal to advertise pharmaceuticals in the US and I believe New Zealand. It is literally raining acid in Ohio right now. Lobbying, more generally just the existence of money in politics. The reason that refugees flee political instability in Central and South America is because the US government routinely destabilized those countries whenever the local government got sick of US corporations fucking them over. But hey, we needed bananas and a canal shrug medium light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. Forgivable PPP loans. Burning chemicals to fix a train derailment. Homeless vets. It's like the Spongebob wallet meme, when it's time to start a war there's tons of money but when it comes time to take care of the people who actually did your war then there's no money. The FBI knew the pedophile Larry Nassar was a molesting child gymnast and allowed him to continue for years. They went so far as to falsify the testimony of the victims. No one at the FBI has been punished. Nassar was sentenced in 2017. CIA flooded poor neighborhoods with crack in the 80s. Right around the time the story was made public it was overshadowed by a presidential fellatio scandal. The US stock market being completely fake. We have market makers also owning hedge funds FFS. Corruption is rife in state politics and administration. GME stock rising so high and so fast that they turned off the buy button as to not break the stock market and cause a financial collapse. Oh god, normal everyday people are making too much at it off. If there was one day in modern history that showed the lower class is not supposed to make life-changing money, and that arguably the greatest American wealth-building machine is rigged, it was. 12821 foot. That the Saudis are responsible for 9-11. I don't hear many people talk about the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, but it was a big deal when it originally happened. An entire neighborhood in Seattle fell into anarchy and the police were kicked out for some time. This was recent too, in 2020 but I don't hear about it anymore. I wonder how many people don't know that took place. Elizabeth Holmes and the Therano Scandal there's a TV show on Hulu chronicling her entire criminal enterprise, tons of videos online about how she did what she did, a very public court case about it, news stories about how she tried to flee the country and yet every time I ask someone if they know about her or Theranos, I get weird looks. I just want to talk about current events. The absolutely insane amount of people the USA has in jail right now. The United States has about 25 of the world's total prison population. That's an incarceration rate of 629 per 100,000 people. No other country on earth comes anywhere close to that, not even Brazil, Russia, or Thailand states known for their brutal prison systems. The 80s War on Drugs A war on the drugs our government purposely introduced to minority communities.